Have you ever wondered how to use the curve operation in Blender's loop tools? Personally, I've never used it or understood how the curve operation worked until modelling this updated Master Chief helmet for a free upcoming modelling course. But I ran into a bit of a problem when it came into filling the underside of the helmet here. My initial thought was to just fill in a big N-Gon face and inset the edges to create a support loop, but that doesn't look great for the high poly. I then thought to use the grid fill operation, which kind of works but it doesn't give me the desired result and looks too smoothed out for my liking. What I did know is that I wanted this vertex to be aligned with these vertices along the Y and Z axes which I can achieve simply with vertex snapping but now the shape is broken. But here's where the curve operation works its magic. If I cut the mesh in half and chuck on a mirror modifier, select the boundary verts and the displaced vertex and run the curve operation, all the other verts then conform to my desired shape. But what's going on here exactly? Well the curve operation works on the verts that you don't have selected. I know, rather counterintuitive, but it uses your selected verts as anchor points to find the start, middle and end points of your curve, which is immeasurably useful for subdivision hard servers modelling. But had you ever used the curve operation before this? Let me know in the comments whether you have or if much like me this is the first time you've seen a use case for it.